Hey there, I'm Grace, and I learned something fantastic this morning, so I figured I'd share. I am working on a logo uh, refresh, basically, for a customer, and I was given this um, beautiful filigree shape on the left, uh, and I need to rework it to be a straight edge octagon instead of the curved edge. And now when I saw this, I thought, there's no way I'm going to lose that, that beautiful filigree because it makes such a statement. Um, so I needed to find a way to recreate that. Now when I got the file from the original designer, I was hoping for a little bit of behind the scenes look at how they did it. But unfortunately, it's already a compound path, so there was no kind of giveaways there. So let's start with uh, approaching it as a repeating pattern on a brush. That seemed to me like a logical way to attack it. So I started by uh, recreating the actual shape in the way that I wanted to mimic it from the from the original. So it's got the heavier outer border on the octagon. And then this inner octagon is the one that I'm going to apply the patterned path to. Um, or I'm going to apply the pattern to the path on this one. So I start by creating a circle, a perfect circle, that matches up to the sizing of the circles that are in my sample. So just basically drew a circle down onto here and assumed that their inner octagon was cutting halfway through um, the repeating pattern. So I landed my middle point of my circle on that line. So that gave me a good spot to start from. Now with that circle selected, we can go into our brush tools and try a new brush. There we go. And this time we're going to use a scatter brush. So we're going to say OK. And since it's a repeating symmetrical pattern, we're only going to use size and spacing. We're not going to use scatter since that's a little bit more random. And since it's a perfect circle, we don't need any kind of rotation since you wouldn't be able to notice that anyway. Um, now I think I've eyeballed that circle pretty well, so I'm going to leave my size for now at 100% and see how it goes. And the spacing is where it's at. We can see that it's a really tight spacing and it's primarily overlapping one circle over the one before it. So this percentage is going to be pretty darn tiny. So I'm going to start by putting in 10% and we'll take a look at the results there. We'll give this brush a new name. So we'll call it Circle Filigree. Oh, and we can learn how to spell someday. <laughs> filigree, filigree. Boom, okay, go. All right, and so you can see it already in our tool brush here. Our, our brushes toolbox, I can't speak today, sorry. And here on the right, where we're gonna be working, I'm gonna go ahead and select the inner octagon that I need to apply it to. And now in that brush box, I can choose my new brush. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, that looks fantastic to me. And I'm thrilled that it's so crazy easy. All right, so let's go ahead and put on my my front octagon to cover the excess. Yeah, looking fantastic. Cool, okay, so I can see over here though that this is probably the end point of my path because right here, you may not even notice it, I don't know, but um, it looks a little bit closer to the next one than the one before it. So it kind of draws your attention there because of that little awkward spacing. So if I turn off my front one and go back to my path, I can edit just this path instead of every path, like let's say you're doing a lot of these on one artboard, instead of editing um, the main brush, I'm going to use that toolbox to go into the options of a selected object, so it's only editing this one. And I think I could probably adjust my percentage down a little bit, and we'll turn on preview so we can see what's going on, to try and get that space a little better. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, the little tighter circles because uh, there's more of them and now that little bit of a nuance gets hidden much, much better. Fantastic. So we'll turn back on my outer octagon and boom, I'm done. That's it. I made this beautiful uh, filigree that looks like it's so painstaking and it was less than five minutes. There you go. Enjoy.